at all the mud here in this area. Look at that. Oh. Um. OMG. Trying to pump water out of here. Yeah. Oh, the underground parking, the... Mom. Yeah. It would have been just full of water. Good morning. So today, punta kami, nag-grocery kami kanina, pero hindi na ako nag-haul. Kasi kailangan na namin ilagay sa fridge yung grocery. But anyway guys, uh, labas kami ulit. Um, punta kami downtown. Titignan namin yung river kung saan yung nag-flood before. Kasi nag-subside na siya. So, since day off pa ng husband ko, sabi niya, gusto niyang pumunta doon. And gusto ko rin, gusto ko lang tingnan yung river ngayon. Kasi meron pa rin uh, ice. So, Tara lang, tingin lang kami guys. So, pasok na kami sa truck. Yan, bagong ligo ang aming truck. Yeah, shoppers. They get all that stuff inside. The hospital was high enough up. Yeah. Stayed dry. Yeah. The hospital didn't Look, get down. Look, Look at see Canadian Tire how much lower it is. Yeah. There's a police beside us. Good. So the KFC for sure also. Yeah. This school maybe even. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah, it's all water here a few days ago. Even here, oh, in the furniture. Is it still 30 kilometers right now? Even though there's I'm no not street. sure. <laughs> yeah, that Starbucks also. Water. Save oh, on. It's really high. Oh, I remember. nailed. Yeah, I remember in the video, it's just half of that building. Half? Yeah. The boat passed by there. Oh, my God. Yeah. See, really high water. Vehicles here, they'd have been screwed. You want yes. Oh, okay, yeah, too bad. Oh, clean house. Oh, yeah, there's too. a, you know. Oh, they got hit hard. Oh, yes. Well, They're fixing. Water. Wow. See, it's all dusty. Yeah, you can't even go down this road, Mom. Oh, they closed it. Need water. To go to the riverside. Hardware got nailed. That's a big store, Daddy. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Sobeys 
got nailed too. Oh. Which sure. maybe isn't open. So that, okay, what are the four grocery stores we got down here? Safeway so looks, so looks open. Pardon? Can I eat oh yeah. Superstore. Yes. See Staples. This, this whole ground floor here got nailed. Yes. Cleaning. Oh. Holy smoke, yeah. See? Taking off. This is not fun. Yeah. Are you trying to see? See, that's lower down there, eh? so yeah. that's even worse. Lots of plain place. Cleaning out, even here. Printing something. Oh, yeah. Everything got nailed. Yeah. Oh, man. This place. Look at the hanging up with the stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All the mud and everything dry. that came in there. Floating fish and everything. It would be a big swoop. Yeah, this ground floor. This here. one not so The car wash. Look at this vehicle, it's full of mud. Yeah. This guy's vehicle got nailed, Deja. Oh. And that's a new Nissan too. Wow, it's too bad. Look at all the mud here in this area. Look at that. Oh. Um. OMG. Trying to pump water out of here. Yeah. See? Oh, the underground parking, Mom. Yeah. It would have been just full of water. Yeah, it's a Ramada hotel here. Oh my god. Oh, lots of stuff lot I of have work to here, Yeah. Boys. Look at that. Did you see the back window of this vehicle, Mom? No. This is a new vehicle. Totally, uh -oh. totally ruined. Wow. Totally ruined. Those are expensive Nissan Armadas. Our doctor's office would have went underwater too. There's one stuff. here that I, she always buy um, Yema, there. that one there. Yeah, she that's right there. yeah, that's the place, all the bed sheets and...
Nararating lang namin sa bahay um, from downtown. So, um, it was really devastating to watch um, those some houses and big and small businesses na nag-suffer ng um, flood problems. Especially yung mga bahay o kaya businesses na may um, basement kasi talagang um, loads of water talaga yung loob ng basement. So, yeah guys, napagplanuhan din ng asawa ko. Bukas kasi day off pa niya. Baka punta daw siya bukas doon para mag-volunteer. Kasi I'm sure marami pa rin places doon na need nila, nila ng help. So, I wish I can too but um, lately I've been, I've been not feeling well. So, actually earlier nung nagda-drive na kami sa downtown. Kasi lagi kong chinecheck yung phone ko. So, I think... I feel like um, yung headache bumabalik na naman agad. Kaya yun, parang uh, bumabalik yung feeling ko. At saka I feel like chilling. Ayoko yung mahangin guys. So, parang ginutom dun ako. Kaya sabi ko sa asawa ko, uwi na kami kay, para makakain ako guys. So, merong instant noodle soup dito. So, yun ang kinain ko. And then, nag-take na rin ako ng vitamin C, D at saka cider vinegar. And at the same time, um, yung malunggay capsule. So, and then some black seed oil nagtake din ako noon guys so try just try to fight this whatever uh, what i feel guys so but i think i, I will be okay then chine ko rin yung uh, temperature ko i'm 36.2 so uh, it's still normal yun nga lang parang something na nararamdaman ko especially siguro dahil dito sa headache pag nagbabiyahe kasi talagang ganyan ako guys uh, I'm sure some of you guys also ganyan yung pag nagbabiyahe uh, so masakit ulo nyo pag nasa phone kayo nakatingin o kaya uh, nag, nagbabasa ng something tas nagbabiyahe uh, so masakit ulo nyo guys but anyway um, rest lang muna ako dito I niyaya ako ng husband ko mag walking pero I refuse kasi nga I don't feel good so mamaya din gagawa din daw siya ng dirty burger uh, ng kanyang own na dirty burgers. He called it dirty burgers pero it's just like a burger burger patty. So, magba barbecue siya mamaya. So, I'll see if he's okay for me to film him do making those um, hamburger patty. So, yan guys. Rest muna ako and then para mamaya I feel better and then we'll see you later. One eternity later. thicker than I'm going to make them right now because they wouldn't be able to eat it. Might make mine thick enough. A little bit harder to cook, but so this is how you do it. You don't use eggs or anything like that. You have a technique and it's been said by many to be the best burgers they've ever had. The original Hardesty Dirty Burgers. Some people will look at this and say there's too much spice, but they don't know what they're talking about. What is that one? This is garlic and herb. Okay. This is Montreal steak. And when I barbecue them, I always use barbecue sauce. And I'll pick one of these just to lightly do it afterwards. This is Cajun. 
powder so I don't put as much of it in there, but I sprinkle that one on. Then I also use Bragg's all season, which mm -hmm. is a good organic allspice. Put some of that in there. And that should be good. Now, there's only three of us, so it depends on how many, how many I'm going to make. And like I said, these are the really thick burgers. Use good quality hamburger. And when I do it, they don't, they don't shrink. And the key for these hamburgers not to fall apart when you don't use eggs or crackers or all the, any of that kind of nonsense to try to keep them. It's, the key is in how you massage the hamburger. You mix it up evenly like that so the spices are pretty even. And you take one and take your time with it. You get the kind of hamburger that when you go like this and your hands and that are really white and sticky, it's terrible, it's, it's too much fat. Best to go with an extra lean. And you rub these off and you keep the go like this on the edges so that the edges don't split and fall apart. You see a crack in there and you fix it. And you push it like so, because so the inside and center in that will get cooked as well. There is not a certain amount of time to do this, it's a feel. When they feel just right, then I know they're not going to fall apart. I'll make a smaller one for Deja. get a good consistency, then you start. You don't grab it and start squishing it right off the bat. It will fall apart on you. Last one. Original Dirty Burgers. And this is another way you can tell if it's really good hamburger. If it's not stuck to the outside and you got that white paste, mm -hmm. that fatty paste, mm -hmm. then you know you got bad quality hamburger. get pictures cooking it and then when it's finished and then um, I'll send all then we'll put it together as a maybe the three pictures as a collage and then um, send it to the people in Hardesty. Yeah. certain amount of time or anything it's just a feel on this you, you just you just know it when you feel it and you just know it's not going to fall apart on you see those cracks like that you gotta fill them in. That's it. That's, uh, that's pretty much it. 
and it's just a matter of uh, getting the barbecue good and warm. Once the barbecue is really good and warm, then I turn the heat down and then get at it. The factors here. Steaks, a lot of people say you only flip them once. You hear a lot of people say that stuff. With these, there's no such rule. So you can see that this one's getting a little bit more heat already. Right? We have there, Daddy. Okay, so I've got both kind. I've got jalapeno cheese there. The and I'm just about to turn the heat down and put the cheese on the last minute or so. And then these are they're done. I'm going to need uh, to slightly apart. stuff and everything for the next one. Okay. Pepper on it or not. 
Thank you, Daddy. So this is Daddy's Dirty Burgers with cheese and we're having beans and sweet kale salad. Let's eat! Cooked right through. Perfectly cooked. See, no matter how thick it is. And that's how you do it. So good. 10 p.m. So katatapos ko lang maligo, guys. So kanina pa rin kami natapos kumain. And then, yeah guys, nag-enjoy kami sa aming, pa, sa aming ano, hapunan. Kasi ako nag-request sa asawa ko na kung pwede mag, ano kami, mag-grill something. Something to grill. And then, yun nga, naisipan niya gusto niya mag gumawa ng own niya na burger and then way back then nung nandun pa kami sa luma namin tinitirhan uh, sikat siya doon sa workplace niya kasi every night shift talagang nagbo burger siya doon so siya gumagawa ng patty tapos yung uh, iba nagdadala ng buns, pop or uh, dessert or something so siya ang sagot sa burger patty so doon siya na uh, doon siya natawag na dirty burger, Dean's dirty burger, doon sa work niya, and everybody loves it. So, yeah guys, kaya sabi ko sa asawa ko kung pwede ba i-film ko siya. So, yun nga, pumayag naman, finally. So, yan guys, and then while we're eating, um, nakailang bite pa lang ang asawa ko. Sabi ko, masarap to pag may soft drinks. Eh, wala kaming soft drinks guys sa fridge. Kaya napatayo siya guys, so, naghinto siya. Um, napatayo siya guys kahit bumili ng Pepsi doon sa convenience store. Eh, meron kami convenience store. Malapit lang dito. Kaya, ano, uh, umalis siya guys. Naglakad lang. Tapos, bumili lang ng dalawang Pepsi. Ta. Kasi yan, sarap talaga pag merong Pepsi na partner. Kaya, yun, sobrang happy kami kasi parang treat. Nakapag-burger kami at the same time, nakapag-pop. So, yeah, and then, um, after that, guys, nagtupi lang ako ng mga damit kasi, um, ano tawag niya ito? Um, nag, ano, naglagay ako ng uh, dalawang loads of laundry kanina. So, yan, yeah, nagtupi ako, guys. Tapos, um, nag-succidate siya sa, uh, sa tab kanina. Kaya, natagal ako. Kaya, hinintay ko bago ako makaligo. And then, yeah, guys, um, by the way, um, uh, ipakita ko sa inyo kasi nakatagap ako ng email kanina like, doon sa may-ari ng bahay na uh, rinent namin sa Edmonton to Airbnb at saka ito ang matanggap ko message review niya sa amin so yan guys may, masaya din ako and then nag-review din ako doon sa Airbnb niya and then talaga naman nag-enjoy kami as in talaga feel at home kami doon sa bahay niya. So, anyway guys, um, yeah, that's it for this vlog guys. I hope nag-enjoy kayo sa aking video. And yeah, hoping to see you in my next vlog. Once again guys, bye!